Hey, all you big skeets, weirdos, and hobos. I can't think of anything to do. So I just figured I would have my morning and share it with you. Ah! anything to make a video on. The only video that anybody seems to be interested in is videos about pain the bear. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm gonna get that toy. in the big boy chair. You okay, can't go in the big boy chair. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You want this toy? You really want this toy? How bad do you want this toy? Really bad? Go get it! <laughs> Good times. Fun squeaker toy, huh? Is that your favorite toy? Yeah. So, um, what is it? Okay, thank you. Last year, I quit smoking. I quit smoking for like a couple months and then I started smoking again. And I smoked for about a year and then. Like two or three weeks ago, I quit smoking. I quit smoking for like three days. Then some crazy shit happened. I got a big old cut in the side of the trailer. And then I was like, ugh, fuck it. I just got a pack of cigarettes and started smoking again. Today, I woke up. I did not smoke a cigarette. So, we'll see. I'm. I'm tough. I'm a tough guy. Like, I quit doing drugs all by myself. No going to meetings. No none of that. I was just like, I'm done with this. Fuck it, I quit. And I mean, I had been doing drugs for years. I quit drinking. I just said, fuck it, I'm done with this. I quit. And I did. And, you know, I had a couple slip-ups here and there. But uh, I quit. So, I'm quitting smoking cigarettes. I'm, I know I can do it. If I can quit fucking doing everything else, I quit smoking cigarettes. So, and then I'm gonna start working on things. Maybe my skin will get better. I have pretty good skin for my age. Yeah, I have pretty good skin for my age. <laughs> <laughs> you got mama got good skin for her age? You think mommy pretty? Say yeah, but not pretty enough to share my toys with you, though. Give me them toys. I'm gonna get them. <laughs> I have this beauty book because I have. Oh boy! Oh, there's exercises to like, make this tighter right here. So I'm gonna go my beauty book and start doing those exercises. They're real goofy. I guess I guess I would do them on film so that you guys can see. I like to do things that make people feel goofy so that maybe it'll help them 
not feel so goofy anymore. And so that's a real goofy one. You like, you like, you're going, uh, 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 and you like stretch out your, uh, 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 that kind of stuff to try to like tighten this up. So that's what I'm going to do and make a video. But, uh, <coughs> you having a good time, huh? I quit smoking again. And, uh, you know, I got that kind of a gross feeling right here. So, fire cider. I'm going to give it a shake. I'm going to have some fire cider. Drink my coffee. I, I made myself a, um... A giant pot of espresso, I guess, this morning because I'll tell you what, like, just a couple drinks of this coffee is like, boom! <laughs> it's so strong. Oh, and the smell of the fire cider and the coffee together was a little bit stomach turning. That was slightly stomach turning. It smells like pickle juice. It smells like pickle juice to me. Oh, okay, so I told you guys that I'm addicted to tins. I have a tin addiction. I got a new tin. I couldn't help it, I'll show you. Ooh I'm going to take a fire cider one. Then I'm going to take some horseradish, too. Boom, boom. Like my shot glass. Mm. You want to smell it? Mmm, you can't have them because it's got onions in it. Dogs can't have onions, did you guys know that? Dogs can't have onions. What else can doggies not have? Doggies can't have avocados. Doggies can't have very many nuts. You just might as well not give them any nuts except for peanuts. Doggies can't have, I don't know, all kinds of things. Oh, pause. <laughs> pause that video. <sighs> I like my hair when I make it, I tie it up. So it doesn't get all crazy because my hair is so like thin it gets really really knotty. So I just tie it up and then uh, and then this is what it looks like when I take it out of my hair tie in the morning. And I kind of like it. I like big crazy hair. So that's my thing. Thinking about dyeing it again. My mom got me a purple, like a, a lavender from Splat. Thinking about doing it. But I like my hair. I like big hair. Big hair. <laughs> I'm a big hair person. <clears throat> so I just, I took that shot of fire cider. Now I'm going to take a shot of horseradish. Look at all the sediment on the bottom. I should find out. I don't think I had, I mean, I find a thinner screen than that one thing that I have, but it's like the smallest one. I think there's a thinner screen than I guess using uh, with a cheesecloth. I guess cheesecloth would probably be the thinner screen than that. Mmm, I like the horseradish smell. It smells good. It smells like earth and dirt. I like the smell of dirt. Dirt smells good. Logan's enjoying his toy. That squeaky toy, man. <laughs> he has fun with it, but <clears throat> after about an hour of incessant squeaking, it can get 
quite annoying. <laughs> and then he comes up to you and squeaks it and he slams it into your legs. He's um, he's a natural born punk rocker. He like literally has a mohawk down his back. And he loves to slam into you. He likes to slam into like he'll come running at you at the park. 40 miles an hour and just slam right in here so you gotta watch out and he definitely likes to to mosh pit and be hardcore oh then you hardcore hmm you hardcore you punk rocker aren't you oh uh, horse radish is my favorite one I think I like the taste of horseradish. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I was going to show you my tin. Oh. I didn't want to. <clears throat> it's um, all the villains. Mm. It's still full of popcorn. I don't like the cheesy popcorn, but I like the, I like the caramel and the butter, but I'm not here for the popcorn. I'm here for the tin. <laughs> I'm here for the tin. <sighs> so yeah, I am thinking about. See, I like it better, like, before I brush it. I just walk around like this all day. This is my wake-up hair. So I brush it, and then I don't like it no more. Because it's fuzzy. But I'm thinking about dyeing it. Today, maybe tomorrow. I get so busy. See? Too fuzzy. I want to get a haircut, but I can't because I can't be going and doing stuff like that right now, I guess. Because this is so much better. I want to get my hair cut. I want to get my nails done, but I can't. Hmm. I dyed my own hair. If I had electricity, I'd probably end up doing my own damn nails, too. Get one of those things, those, you know, buffer things or whatever. That kind of stuff. Oh, this guy is long now. I'm gonna buff my face today. I'm gonna do some face buffing. And I don't, I should like, you know, like buff my face. I have that, uh, you know, it's just like the sandy stuff you. If I don't do that, like every week, I get really deep lines in my forehead. 
probably worry I'm I like big hair. I want to have hair like a lion. Let's see, a couple years ago, I completely shaved my head. Four, four or five years. So this is like four or five years of hair growth. I see my split ends are really damaged. I'll probably, if I got a haircut, I would probably have to have it cut like to here. That's from bleaching it so that I could, so that I could dye it purple. That's why I quit doing that and started doing this right here. Can you stop him, please? I started dyeing this black because at least I don't have to bleach it black. And bleach it to turn it black. <clears throat> so, just keep doing this black and then just leaving this damaged part here and doing that purple because it'll take, I don't know if I got enough because my mom got me a little kit. The kit came with bleach. Wow. I don't even remember what happened at the bleach. But I got this lavender splat. It's kind of small, but it should probably do it. So I might do that sometime soon. Uh, what's up, dude? What you doing? This is what I do when I wake up in the morning. Just kind of sit here. Try not to smoke a cigarette. It's not that hard, but the thought keeps coming and coming. Yeah, I can feel it's dead. I made some more. Uh, Made some more aloe gel, so I'm gonna put. Oh, I might as well just do it now. Aloe gel, phenidin. My mom got me this for my birthday. I wanted this for so long. I showed you guys my uh, my antique pair, but it's not safe. They're not safe to use on things. Like maybe I could use it to mix lotions and stuff, but just lotions for me because there's a little bit of rust on it, so I wouldn't be able to use it for you guys because I don't think that's cool. But for me, I don't care. But, um, my mom got me this for my birthday. Ooh, I love these things. So exciting. So I made some aloe gel for me and Odin. That coffee is so freaking strong. It makes me feel gross. <laughs> it's so strong. It makes me feel nasty.
<sighs> I can't, I can't. One day I, I want to get one of those little bullets. See, I have to do things that don't involve electricity right now. Until I get an actual real house. <sighs> but, I mean, I beat this stuff. I wonder if this will fit in here. Ooh. Let's beat it. Hey, I'm I beat this stuff for like over an hour the other day. And it, it's really hard to break up them little pieces of, them little pieces of aloe. But hey, I could stick this in here, in this jar. And then they have no escape. They have nowhere to go, so they can't run. And I bet I can chop them up real good like this. Let's see. Escape. We will be chopped up. See, this is how little slant I'm on. chunks of stuff all over here which is the problem that I want to solve which I think I could solve with a with a blender it would totally smash everything up but not right now oh I feel gross gonna make my hair all better It's just aloe and vitamin E. Odin doesn't let a single human walk by. Without screaming and yelling. Which is good and annoying at the same time. <laughs> Because I just get a bunch of chunks of aloe all over me. But that's what I have to deal with right now, I guess. Just put my chunks of aloe on the table. And use this to rub all over my hair. And then after I'm done, I rub it all over Odin's hair. Mr. Odin, what are you doing? Yelling at people? You want mommy to put some aloe on your skin for you? Make your skin all better? Busy being a good dog? He ain't talking to me right now. <coughs> Odin. <coughs> hey, I'm not going to yell at you all day because of this shit. Alright? <coughs> I don't want to hear you yelling all day. People walk by, that's what they do. You want some aloe on your eyes to tell everybody you're feeling much better? Huh? Uh, 
Sticky. It's just a glob, but I just put it in my hair like that. <laughs> so I just drop it all onto the table so that I can clean it up. <sighs> so messy. You want mommy to put some aloe on you? It's your turn next, dude. My dude. Don't. Today's beauty day. Mommy's got to buff her face. And then we got to clean Mr. Odin's ears and Mommy's ears. And clip Odin's fingernails. And put some aloe on his skin. You need some aloe on your skin. I could try to squish it and rub it in. And just drop it onto the table. And I know like if like all those pieces here, if they were put into a blender, that would be like aloe gel, wouldn't it? So I'm, in a way, I'm technically kind of wasting it. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. A little bald spot right here. Let's slap some on there. into your scalp too. I feel like I'm going bald right here. And I keep asking my friend, I feel like I don't want to touch the back of my hair and I feel like my hair is a little thin back there. But I keep asking my friend, I'm like, hey, is my hair thin right here? Like right here. And he's like, no. Okay, dude, you're not going to let me walk around looking crazy, are you? I'm like, no, you look good. Okay, dude. So we'll see. Let's squish him in. I said squish him when it gets in there. Do 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 do. Then you can put it on your face too. Ew, I dropped my lid. One more ends. One more ends. Swoop. I'll smash it in there. This is the ends of the damaged part, really. Make a big old mess here. Oh, 
I'm trying to learn how to do everything naturally, but I still take, uh, I've been taking some hair, skin, and nails vitamins. I'm kind of a dry person, so my skin can get kind of dry. Ugh. dry skin and the cool thing that I like about my hairbrush is that I can get it as dirty as I want without hair getting stuck in my <coughs> hey <coughs> keeps tweakers away Thank you, Arden. Your guard dog. I'm going to drop it all off. So that's just aloe and vitamin E. <sighs> I'm gonna put it on my face too. Oof. Oh, I got one in my eye. <laughs> and then, of course, I just pick up the goop, smear it on my hands. A big old mess. One more for the face. And who cares if it's a goop? Like, see the glob? Whatever, dude. Just drop it on your table. I mean, I'm sure you people have blenders and houses and stuff, so if you blend it, it won't be chunky. Like this. So you won't have to worry about all that That's what I do in the morning. Either today or tomorrow. And, uh, I'm thinking about dying it again. I, you know, I really, really like having purple hair. But, you have to bleach it. 
for the for the purple to stay and it uh it really damages my hair so now i have to make the choice do i want damaged purple hair or do i just not and another thing i was thinking was um you know i've never seen the color of my hair i don't know what color my hair is i think it's this color like a dark brown kind of color but i'm starting to get um gray hairs and i was thinking i'd be curious to see what color my hair is it's probably brown I don't know, but I feel like, I don't know, because I've spent my whole life with, like, bright colors and different kinds of mohawks and dreadlocks and, you know, purples and blues and greens and that, um, like, my own hair color might look, like, boring and dusty to me, so... I know that when I do my hair red or black, that, uh, you know, after a while when it starts to get a little bit faded, it looks dusty, like a, just a dull kind of dusty color, and when you look at it in the mirror, you're like, ugh, it's so boring, but, uh, I am kind of curious to see what color my hair, my hair is, but, I don't know. I'm not into having a natural color hair, you know? I'm not into things that I consider to be boring for myself. Like, it'd be fine for, like, whatever's fine for you is fine for you, you know what I mean? And that's totally cool, but I particularly just can't handle having I'm very color ordered oriented like my colors have to be you know pretty much as everything purple and black or red and black or orange and black or gray and black like things don't really dip, deter from that area from that color panel for me so uh when other colors like that come into my life I'm like eh, I don't know like my mom got me this vest and it's cool it's got like eyes all over it but it's brown and like I'm like oh god brown I don't wear brown you know brown is like more earthy tones my my tones are more dark tones you know it could be any color as long as it's dark it looks good on me like light colors look really weird on me like I don't think I've ever worn white ever and I think that uh, I might have tried it on like at a store or something be like oh you know I've seen things that I thought were pretty in white pretty dresses or whatever and be like wow this is pretty and I'll buy it and I'll dye it <laughs> you know dye it a different color but uh yeah my my color panel palette whatever is dark you know dark reds blacks dark not really so much dark blues but mostly just black red orange and purple and gray dark greens but browns and whites and it just seem really boring to me. And I have a feeling that my hair is brown. And to me, that's boring. For my hair, at least. So, I don't know. I'll probably just end up dying it. I'll probably die with purple hair. I can't, I can't handle the normalcy. So...
that's what I'm doing. Just put aloe all over my face and my hair. And I'm going to put it all over my dog. <coughs> Have a little bit left. I am. I don't know about any of you guys, but um, when you go to the grocery store, most grocery stores have like an area where they have like stalks of aloe. And you can pick one of those up and make yourself. They're like two bucks for a stalk of aloe. You just make yourself some aloe gel. Just take it out of the skin, put it in a blender with like three or four caps of vitamin E. Bam, you got aloe gel. It's good for everything and it helps your skin it helps your hair and uh, now that I'm getting older I'm getting like it seems like my eyes are starting to sink in like right here like I have like I don't know my eyes just look really kind of sunken and tired and so I've been trying to work on that and uh, I'm sure that quitting smoking is gonna help Ugh. You know, so that should help. I mean, I literally have been smoking cigarettes since I was like 10 years old. So, this uh, should be a good thing for me. But yeah, that's my problem. Is I have like, my eyes get sunken in and tired looking. And then this right here. Is, I'm going to try to, you know how it is. Ten years younger, if everything just kind of went up just a little bit, you know, <laughs> but I ain't got the money for that, so. <sighs> so I gotta get on my, I mean, that coffee was too strong, it made me feel yucky. <sighs> too much, too strong. Now it's Odin's turn. Odin's turn for aloe. Gotta put some on your ears and cut your fingernails. It's beauty day for mommy and Odin. Want mommy to make Odin beautiful? Are you ignoring me because I yelled at you? I didn't even yell at you. I just said shut up. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll leave this in probably for a day and then wash it. Probably take a bath tonight or tomorrow and then wash it and buff my face, buff all the old skin off. And then uh, I start uh, whitening my teeth because now that I'm not smoking, I won't get yellow i drink a lot of coffee and a lot of tea so but i have um strips and i put some strips on like a couple months ago and after like 20 minutes i started getting like these sharp pains like shooting through my teeth and i, I like really sharp painful pains and like all the way around like the strip would stop like like here when you hood it under teeth and like the whole area where the strip was touching my teeth like every tooth felt like there was shooting pains going through the whole entire tooth everywhere and I was like ah I ripped it off and brushed my teeth real quick and was like fuck dude that shit hurt so uh I don't know about that one maybe I'll just start using baking soda and trying to buff it buff out the um the stains and stuff like that so they're kind of yellow you know i had my teeth cleaned once i had bad teeth you know from traveling um i did a lot of fucked up things to my teeth i used to have braces i took them off with pliers and nail cutters i had headgear brackets in the back of my head and uh i left those i took my whole entire mouth of braces out with pliers and nail cutters except for I couldn't get the headgear brackets out because they were on my molars so I actually lived with those in my head for over 20 years 
until the doctor took them out for me. And they pulled a bunch of teeth. And, uh, just from smoking, like, uh, the back, like, the back side of my teeth, they was all, like, black and from smoking, smoking non-filter cigarettes for 20 years, more. So they cleaned all that out, and then, like, they cleaned my teeth, and then after they cleaned my teeth, I was in such pain that I had to go to the dentist and get teeth work done because I guess all that stuff that they took off was like, I don't know, it hurt, it hurt a lot. So I'm really scared of the dentist. So um, I, uh, yep. So I, um, yeah, do some videos with that beauty book. I want to try to see because you can see this right here it's coming down I want to pick that up some like this at least make sure my cheeks don't fall because you know I just turned 40 so uh, this is this is the time everything's going to start falling so my eyes are starting to sink in and then I just want to pick that up a little bit like that that's it you know all the fucking forehead wrinkles thought about getting Botox but I'm a natural guy you know what I mean I I don't know if I can do any of that shit plus it gets scary you see what happens to some of those people who do it and they fucking look all crazy and their, their lips are all huge they look like a blob fucking it's gross it's gross, in my opinion. It don't look good. It, their faces get all funny, like they get these, and then they can't move their face, and they all end up looking exactly the same, like, like a Muppet or some shit. I don't know. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into, but I guarantee you're probably not into it unless you're from California. Everybody from California looks like a damn Muppet if they got too much money. <laughs> Sparkly, gross Muppet. With gigantic boobs and floppy lips. But, uh... Hey, man. That's what floats your boat. Right on. Well, I'm rambling, so... Bye. <laughs>